Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Mac Tommy Questions and from No Stylus. And today we're going to have a look at an application called MoneyWiz again. And what I want to do is I want to see what sort of complications we can get into when we're putting transactions in there. Because, you know, all sorts of things can happen when you go out. So let's go to this application here, Doceri, and let's start explaining what we're going to do. So here we go. We're going to go to the supermarket. And when we go to the supermarket, we're going to buy some groceries. And those groceries are going to cost $25.99. There's going to be some oil for the car at 11.99 a shelf bracket at 6.45 and then we're going to get some screws to be able to put the shelf up at 2 euros and 58 cents and the total of that is 47 and 1 cent and we're going to pay 30 of that with a credit card and the rest we're going to pay with cash just to get more complicated with it and how do you deal with that in MoneyWiz? well let's go and have a look and see what we've got to do so here we are going back into MoneyWiz. And we're in with our, well, it doesn't matter which account you're looking at there, because we can start a transaction from wherever. Press the button in the bottom right hand corner there, and we're going to do an expense. And we're going to say that it's been a part of cash and part with a MasterCard. And the categories, well, let's choose some categories for this. Well, it's, part of it's going to be for the car, so the maintenance. I don't know if I've got a rocket for the maintenance, but still, that'll do. And some of it's going to be food and dining, so that's the groceries. And then we're going to spend some money on the house as well with the DIY. So that's got that sorted out. And the description, well, let's just call it trip to the supermarket. And the payee, well, that's going to be the mega supermarket that we went to. Because the mega supermarket has everything, just as they do these days. So we're going to put the total in there, which is 47.01. OK, so that's in there. And we'll click on Next. So we'll click on Next down here now. Now we have to decide how much we're going to pay on various things. So we're going to say that we're going to spend 30 of that on the credit card. And then we're going to pay the 17 euros and one cent in cash. 25.99 for that. And then for the maintenance for the car, that was 11.99. Okay, so we've got that all sorted out then, haven't we? Except I've done that wrong, got 199 in there. Let's start again. 11.99. Now we've got it right. Okay, and then we've got the DIY, which is 9 euros and 3 cents. So we can click on done. And that is all you have to do to be able to get your stuff in there. And we can see that this on trip on the supermarket, we're looking in the cash part of the accounts now. It says that 17 euros and one cent went out there. And if we go to the MasterCard there, we can see that we've got the trip to the supermarket. And if I click on that, we can see some more details. We can see that went out at 30 euros. I can click on this here and edit. It takes us back to the original details of putting it in, except it's just it's got the 30 part out there. And uh, we can cancel that there. And everything's in there as we need to go in there. Now you can go look in reports. And in reports you can see through your expenses that we've got... Um, so in the house there we've got €9.03. And, and I can tell it to show transactions. Now this €9.03 has been split up over the uh, credit card and the cash proportionally. Because it doesn't really need to discern which one was which out of them, but still... And then we've got the car. So the car there was eleven ninety nine. dollars oh, That's food and dining, that one. Beg your pardon. So when we're looking at the food and dining there, we've got the uh, 35.74 is the total of it. If I click on the transactions, we can say that this food one here is from a different one. So that was the 2nd of January one. And then we've got the two trips to the supermarkets where it split up the money that was spent um, on this trip to the mega supermarket. And it split it up there. So, okay, so there's a car. Show transactions. And that again has been split up so that the 11.99 is split across the cash and the credit card proportionally to the way that we did it. So there you go. That's how complicated you can get with putting in some transactions into money. Was and I think that's pretty good. And when I was doing this, I was using the application Doceri for that first part of it to show you the sums and working outs that I was doing. And then we moved into MoneyWiz. If you haven't tried MoneyWiz, it's a pretty good application and I like it. I've got it on my iPad and I've got it on my iPhone because sometimes I don't have my iPad with me when I'm out and about. But I will most definitely have my iPhone with me so I can put a transaction in there and then. There is also a application that you can use on the Mac and it will all link in together. So it syncs up to their servers and it comes back out to whichever application you're using, whether it be your iPad, your iPhone or on your Mac. So there you go, Dave Allen for No Stylus. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.
Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.